I'll go now I'll go that way a little bit like I am thank you <laughs> that's funny <laughs> we're starting the process of something that we have been honestly dreaming about maybe by spring that's got my heart fluttering a little bit I have not come flying off yet yet We got to put out about five bales, I think. Three here, one there, and one over there. Um, he said he thinks it's supposed to rain in the morning. I don't know. Austin said um, when she looked at the apps that there was no chance to rain for 10 days. But anyway, we got to check that feeder. Check the creep feeder, see if we need to make feed, which we won't have time to do today. But um, anyway, it's pretty quiet this week, y'all pretty quiet so far hopefully we don't get we don't need rain right now we, we, don't, we don't we don't need any rain uh, so I hope that stays away anywho that's that right now them boys out and told them it was their like I told them like little boys going to school they're all pretty with their manes brushed and going to pasture pals for the day <laughs> pasture pals daycare <laughs> oh nobody wants to roll or run this morning <laughs> dogs are like come on do something do something so we can chase you You're free. Go run. Play. <laughs> Look at Rocket. What are they going to do? The good thing about Rocket is he doesn't... He really doesn't chase them. He doesn't try to bite their face off like Gus does. So that's good. This is amazing, isn't it? This little engineered uh, stroke of genius. It's been holding for over a year now. All right. Well, okay. Well, whatever you're going to do. Have fun. See you later. Love you. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning. <laughs> it is. It's a really pretty day. Sun shining. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I don't know what it is. Do you know how cold it is? 40 something. Yeah. All right, y'all. I don't know what's on the agenda. I think Lawrence has got to finish working on that. Um, I'm going to try to get those two front tires straight. <laughs> That's probably on the agenda today. And then I don't know what else. Oh, you know what? Well, I was going to say we need to put out minerals. I think you did that a couple days ago. We checked the feed. And it was at, um, like half. That was, was that yesterday? I don't know. Day before yesterday. So, 
Shouldn't have to do feed for a few more days. We'll see. What do you see, Bonnie? Are you waiting on me? Okay, we're going. Let's go. Stick it right there. Stick it where? Where I was headed. To the edge of that tire. Right now, the edge of it. No. The edge of the hump. Come up just a little bit. Over right there. Showed up just in time. I, I mean, I just literally came out here to see what was going on. Just in time to catch a, catch a, um, what you call it? Tank measure. Oh, I'm going to do it here too. Go down a bit. Oh. Oh. 66, 69. So what's the word, Thunderbird? It's coming like a tick. It's coming like a tick? What does that mean? Full, fat, slow, round. That can mean a lot of things. What do you mean by like a tick? It's slow. Slow, okay. Hmm. Sure, I'm pulling out all the fancy ball caps. Hmm. So he's changing the length of this to make the tires straight. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. What is that bar called? What bar? The one you're turning. It's called the steering rod. Steering rod, or stirring rod, according to somebody. Okay. The steering rod needs adjusting. That makes sense. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how nice it is out here. It's the most Look beautiful. Hole okay, that hold on. Lined up. It is lined up. It can't be lined up. Well, I think it is. Well, there you go. Is it right? Uh, Maybe I should use a punch. Okay, I'm there. come back a little bit. I'll go Now I'll go that way a little bit. Gotta go that way a little bit. There. Right, just to right. Okay. Come up just a little bit. Oh, right there. Minuscule. 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 Keep going. All right, now we're doing, now he's doing the other side. Work. <laughs> okay, we got it. It's got a quarter inch toe. Excuse me, quarter inch toe. Toe in. Okay, so it's okay to be in a little. It's gonna be in a little. We were. Hey, look, this is what I put on the last video. It was kind of dumb, but anyway, I was trying to figure out what the term was for the foot going, like feet going out. Slew foot, like you. Oh, slew. Okay, like I am. Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm dying. Anyway, um, I was thinking like splay footed, but that wasn't the right word. Really? So it was on, online, it said duck footed. Duck footed. Duck so I said we had a duck footed tractor. So what we actually want is a toed in. Mm -hmm. We want like, um, like rip. Bit. That's right. Pigeon, pigeon toe. toe. Now we're going to pigeon toe. Every vehicle. <laughs> it's got a stand system. It's got to be towed in a little bit. If you set it plumb straight, when you take off, just like a vehicle going fast, it's plumb straight. It tends to want to pull the tires out. Mm. And so, on a truck or something, other, you may have a eighth tow in or something like that, a car, mm. sometimes a quarter. Hmm. All right. I okay. got. Plum straight, toed in, duck footed, slew footed, slew footed. Yeah. Well, you married me, so <sighs> crazy. Duke and Wesley have been hunting. Duke. Oh, I think they got one. He's giving him some fresh water. He's been running.
He's been running hard. We heard him treeing, and we heard a shot, so he said he didn't get one. Maybe he'll bring it out here and show me. Duke, what you got? What you got, Duke? Duke, did you get a squirrel? Did you get one, squirrel? Huh? Okay, well, that's done for now. He's got to do some welding where there's a crack, but he's not going to do that today. So, Lawrence and the kids have headed over here. I'm walking because I need to walk. I want to walk. It's so nice. We've been inside most of the day doing schoolwork. This has been the week of reports. Austin had a report yesterday. Wesley had a project or Spanish and today you had a history report and everybody needed my help. <laughs> so it's been, um, it's been kind of a long school week. Uh, anyway, I'm super excited about what we're going to do right now. We're starting the process of something that we have been honestly dreaming about, uh, especially Austin and I. Um, it's going to look different than we had probably originally thought, but we're gonna do the best we can with the resources we have and <sighs> yeah, here we go. What was it where he was standing? It was about a hundred yards, best I could tell. What is that in feet? We have flags. Tell everybody what we're doing, sissy. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Laying out the arena. Laying out? Yeah, that. What? The arena. An arena. A ring. A ring, 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 arena. A place to ride our ponies. When it's muddy and sloppy and... Or and it's dry. Or it's dry. Just anytime. I just didn't need to have. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we've been trying to figure out for a couple years. Well, we've been talking about this for a long time where the best place to be and we've settled on right here next to the corral it's about one of the flattest spots that we have it's obviously not completely flat and we're not gonna worry about that <laughs> um and we're right here where we can we gotta we've also this year soon sometime soon we gotta Man, replace oh what are we oh he's measuring we've got to replace this whole line we have, um, yeah, with a broom. <laughs> this is very scientific. I don't know, but he's using, I guess that's a range finder. Um, we got to replace right at a hundred yards. That is so long. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No. Yeah, that's wrong. Wait, that's 300 feet. If that's what we're talking about doing. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think it was that this, way. No, right. this is the long way, baby. Short way. Anyway, we got to replace all that. We've got guardrail that we've used in the other parts. So we're going to do that. And then we'll put in a gate there and we'll be able to, you know, hopefully get some calves that we can use to work and practice with here at the house too. So it's, it's going to happen. It's happening. You want me to go out there? So originally we had thought about using, um, like getting an actual arena with panels and stuff, but yeah, that's, that's not going to be in a budget now. So our good, good friend Tanner Owen is going to put up woven wire and post and that's how we're going to do it. And, um, he should be able to start in the next month or so, hopefully. So maybe by spring and then the, the footing, I don't know, Lawrence. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to do one thing at a time. We got some sand down the river. He's thinking maybe he can pull some of that up, but that it would be a whole lot of sand. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. One thing at a time, but we're planting the seed. Well, we've already planted the seed. The seed was planted in our um, hearts a long time ago, but now we're going to, we're going to start watering it and watching it grow. And I just, I really love it over here. It's pretty up on that knoll, which we won't be really up on the knoll, but I don't know. It's just a good spot. It's good. We're going to have to put in a... Walk straight back. 
We'll put in a faucet, so we'll have some water. And... Anyway, that's what we're doing, Bonnie. That's what we're doing. <laughs> okay, now we're shooting a diagonal. Diagonal. Having a hard time holding the holding the broom handle still. <laughs> Push that button right there. And then you gotta look up at it and see what your yards are. He's frustrated. He's frustrated because he couldn't hold it still. Put it on him. <laughs> don't let it get off of him when you push the button. He's way up in there. <laughs> I've never looked through one. One day you got your finger over the end of the lens. <laughs> <laughs> that whole adage, well, are you ever gonna use your math? Okay, we've been doing geometry. And I was like, this is, he's looking up one of the theorems. I was like, yeah, this is what we've been doing. It's what we've been doing. Okay, now it's supper time. Supper time and hut cleaning time. <laughs> Rip loves his supper so much. You got a fresh bed to sleep in, you see that? Fresh, fresh, fresh. Yeah. Okay, y'all. We're back in the kitchen. I feel like I haven't said that in a while. Um, I think for a while there, I was doing a lot in the kitchen, sharing a lot, maybe too much. I don't know. Anyway, um, I do. I have tried some recipes, some new recipes lately, new for me. And um, I, I was like, I did a test run, so I wanted I wanted to try them out before I put them on here and told you about them. But I got a couple that I'm gonna be adding to the weekly bi-weekly rotation. So, um, I'm going to share them with you soon. But that being said, I just found out today that we only have three pounds of hamburger left in our freezer. And it's got my, it's got my heart fluttering a little bit. What we do have is a lot of roast and steak. So, Lawrence is like, well, we'll we should just have steak every other night. I'm like, no, we're not doing that. I still want to hold on to my steak. I still want to treat it. Like, I don't want to just eat all the steak. I want to keep the steak. We'll keep steak for next year, too. So, anyway. So, I'm going to have to get really creative about what to do with roast. Tonight, I just threw one in the Instapot. And um, I really didn't do anything but put some brown label musket powder on it and some beef broth. And um, we're just going to eat it just plain. And I'm going to roast some veggies. But I've, I've been doing some research and thinking about different ways. I think I'm going to try to incorporate roast more like I do hamburger, like maybe make chili with roast, like the beef, just to cook it down like this and shred it up and do like barbecue for sure. I'll do that this week probably and chili and then use it for like stroganoff and beef and noodles. And, um, we're just going to replace some of the ground beef with roast. And, um, there's a lot of Mexican dishes we can do. We could do tacos, enchiladas, Okay, taco salad. We're gonna try that. We're just gonna we're gonna try some stuff. So stay tuned. Um, and if you have any good ideas for roast, let me know. I know about Mississippi pot roast. I know like I'm just not a big. I like Mississippi pot roast, but I'm not real big about just like the regular old roast and potatoes and onions like cooked in the. It just gets all to be too mushy. So I've started not putting the vegetables in there with it. I'd rather have them roasted and be able to actually taste them. There's just something about that. So, um, but if you've got any, like, um, what would the word be? Unordinary, out of the ordinary ways of using roast. I'm all ears, okay? Um, oh, this is fun. So, our refrigerator here, our refrigerator, um, we've had it for many years. I don't know, 15, 17. I don't even know how long we've had it, a long time. Um, and it's pretty much been a lemon since day one. Like, we had to have the compressor or whatever, the, the whole, what do you call it, the motherboard or something replaced within, like, a few months. So, that should have been a really first the sign. And it's never worked right. It's never cooled good. We've never had super cold milk. We never um, have enough ice. It doesn't even make ice hardly in the summer. We have to buy ice. So, anyway, I've always said, you know, I, I don't want to just buy another refrigerator until this one just completely goes out. Well, y'all, we're we're on the last legs. It's having to be held together with a bungee cord. 
a super duper bungee cord that if it happens to pop off is a flying projectile and could take your head off. And it came by my head sitting at the table the other day and I thought that might happen. So, I accidentally turned off the camera. So another fun thing this week has been shopping for a refrigerator. That was, that was super fun. No, it was not. Um, we decided we're not doing, this one has a freezer on the bottom. We're not doing that again. Lawrence says it doesn't make sense. It doesn't cool right. So we're going back to just the old trusty regular plain Jane refrigerator, which was actually kind of hard to find with an ice maker. Like you have to, I had to spend another $150 just to get one with a little ice maker in it. Not on the door, nothing fancy, okay? Lowe's had these things. It was like I was looking in a mirror and they got like screens and they got all this stuff. We're not doing that. Mm -mm. We're going back. Old school refrigerator, okay? Um, but the one that I wanted, I, I want another black one. I don't want white in this. We don't need anything white in this house. Can we just say amen to that? Um, and the stainless version that I wanted, the fingerprintless one, they had that on the floor, but they didn't have it where you could actually buy it anywhere at all and wouldn't sell that one. So anyway, that's what I had to deal with the other night. So um, we have our new refrigerator coming February 15th. I will not be here. I will be on my way to Florida. So um, the kids and Lawrence get to have the joy of being here when they deliver the refrigerator and getting this one out and putting the new one in. And then I get the joy of coming home and rearranging everything. <laughs> I, I'm just, you know, it would be amazing if it would come just one day earlier, just one day. <laughs> but um, anyway, that's that. That's, that's really it. That is, I, you're called up on Bernard Life this week. <sighs> All right. I know I've been talking a lot here. In fact, I feel like, I feel like I'm losing my voice. Um, I'm going to, throw some vegetables in the oven and we're gonna we're gonna have supper and I'm probably gonna go walk on my walking pad tonight I'm loving that thing I told y'all about it right I love it I love it that's my little thing after supper and read my book while I'm walking I can actually walk and read a book I have not come flying off yet yet um so that's that I don't know that's it y'all it's beautiful I just looked at the 10 day we have got really beautiful weather coming up. I hope we can ride tomorrow. We're going to ride Saturday. I hope we can, we can maybe even ride Sunday. I don't know with the weather like this. I'm hoping we can just really get outside and enjoy it until another cold snap comes. Assuming it will, because it's, it's just February and I cannot believe it's February. It's February. Did the groundhog see a shadow? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. He always sees a shadow. He, right? Um, anyway, It'll be what it'll be. We still would love to have one good snow, but you know, when it starts getting warm, then I'm just like, bring on spring. Let's just bring on spring. And all the weeds are already springing up. I'm looking at them right now. It's going to be time to round up. Okay. Bonnie's sleeping. Um, that's all y'all. That's all y'all. Thanks for being here. Um, give me your roast ideas and we'll see you next time.